So I I went and I got a, a haircut and I told him, you know, just kind of shave off the sides, kind of take some of this off, but still leave me some there, which they did good there. I like the sides. And then I told him, just trim the top, trim the top. Don't fuck it up. Don't cut it all off. Don't, you know, I want a lot of room, I said, to be able to play with and be able to move and does this does this look like I can style it? I don't. Here, let me just let me just spike it up real quick for you. Oh, here, let me just sway it to the side. Here, I'm gonna part it backwards the other way. Here, I'm gonna pull all back so it just flies all the way up. While he's cutting my hair, he just starts going off about how um, he served ten years in prison. Well, I don't know what the what what it was. He wouldn't tell me what it was for. He just said, oh yeah, I've been in prison 10 years, snip, snip, snip. How is my hair messed up? It's not even long enough to be messed up. And so he talks a little about how um, in prison started learning how to cut hair and then he came out and got a degree and then he went back to prison for another couple years. It's like, dude, do I really trust you with a razor to my head right now if you've been in prison like several times for over 10 years? <laughs> Since I've gotten a haircut, I've gotten a lot of comments on my broadcasting and everything about how it looks like I cut all my hair off with my knife or how I shaved it all off or how I got in a terrible accident and my hair, my wig got pulled off my wig. So it's been really fun. Um, I don't suggest haircuts and I don't think I ever, ever going to get a haircut again, ever. And if I do, the whole time I'm going to be staring at the bitch with the mirror and being like, dude, if you cut one thing off, if you cut one more hair, I swear to God, I'll sue you. I don't think you can sue over here, but I'll I'll do it. So some of the things I've had to do to kind of make myself more less uh, horrid horrid looking, um, I got some Ray Bans, you know, so that covered that you know that that takes a little distraction away, not bad. But then my favorite, I have to wear a hoodie now. This is kind of one of the looks I've been having to go for because it kind of hides the fact that all my hair is gone. And then I got the glasses too. So, I mean, it's pretty cool the hoodie. It says good vibe or gold digger instead of gold digger. It's gold digger. Because, you know, I'm trying to find those goals. I'm trying to set them. I'm trying to beat them. And with this haircut, it's been really hard to set my goals. Mmm, it smells good. They should make that a cologne, a Swedish fish cologne. I just, I'm just really pissed, you know, about my hair being gone. But sorry, I didn't upload a couple times ago, and I was surprised there's actually some people in my most recent uh, post. So that was really cool. Thank you guys for liking and commenting. That was awesome. If you guys do see this, oh my god, what is in my eye? And want to like it, or comment on it, or both, or subscribe if you're new, who knows? That would be pretty awesome. But basically, I'm just going to hope my hair grows out again. And then I'm going to kind of have this part grow out a little and keep trimming this side. So hopefully that'll make it look better than it does now. But for now, I just have to suffer through it. And yeah, that'll be fun. Goodbye.